Happy National, National Cinnamon, Cinnamon Bun Day, Day, East Broncos. I'm Maggie. And I'm Ace. And this, and this is, is Bronco, Bronco TV. TV. It's Friday, October 4th, 2024. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. You may now be seated. First up, we have your East Sports News. On Tuesday, the 8th grade East Broncos had their first away game of the year against the Cross Timberwolves. The A-team kicked things off with a bang as Miles Wellington scored on a 40-yard touchdown pass perfectly placed by Brody Mitchell. As usual, the defense was suffocating the Wolves' offense and caused many punts and turnovers throughout the game. The Broncos saw many players get in the action on offense as Landon Nichols had a 50-yard touchdown catch, Carson Hodge had a 40-yard rushing touchdown, and player of the game Brody Mitchell added two of his own rushing touchdowns. East came away with a hard-fought 34-21 win to improve to 3-0 on the year. The team looked to keep their undefeated season alive against the Cross Timbers as well. Brady Stoneman scored one of his two rushing touchdowns on the first play of offense for the Broncos to give them a lead they would never relinquish. East's defense proved to be too much for the Wolves as they struggled to move the ball at all throughout the night. The defense forced four turnovers with an Ethan Fox interception, Cooper Keller fumble recovery, and two interceptions from player of the game, Elliot Frannick. The East Broncos won 16-0 to improve to 3-0 on the year. In a defensive battle, the East Broncos A-team fought hard against the Cross Timber Wolves. The defense played hard, holding the Wolves to only eight points in the game. Wide receiver Ben Kai tried to get the offense going with a couple of big catches, but the Broncos were unable to put any points on the board. The Cross Timber Wolves win 8-0. In the B-team game, Grant Fung dominated with three rushing touchdowns. Pedro Bear forced a fumble, and Nico Guerrero recovered it for the East defense to help lead the team to a 19-14 victory. Demigods. Prepare yourselves for an epic adventure. Join us at Camp Half-Blood, where the world of Percy Jackson comes to life in an unforgettable journey. Test your skills, train like a hero, and uncover ancient mysteries as you explore our interactive campground. Percy Jackson World is coming to the East Library, and our permission slips are ready. Permission slips for Percy Jackson World are available starting this Friday, October 4th, in the afternoon. You are welcome to pick up a permission slip and take it home over the weekend to get your parents to sign it. When you fill this out with your parents, please make sure that you fill out every section and you're gonna bring this back to me with your $10 to be able to attend the event. Remember, only 120 students can get in because that's all the space we have. So you wanna make sure you get this in quickly so you can secure your spot. Okay, I'm so excited, and if you have any questions, please come and see me. But um, the biggest thing is please do not leave your permission slip and your money on my desk if I'm not there. I need to be able to check in your stuff and get you signed, off, um, signed up on our, on our official form. So please make sure you hand this document to me with your money, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. Hi East, I'm here to help educate you a little bit on recycling. The gardening class wants to help our school be more sustainable. And the way we do that is by adding recyclables into the recyclable and trash into the trash. So if you are putting something in one of these bins that says recyclable, it can be paper, cardboard boxes, it could be Kleenex boxes that are empty. Uh, cans can also go in there as long as there is no soda in there please it's very disgusting when we're cleaning these out and there's soda in there or water um, plastic again also you can do anything that you cannot stick your finger through you may put in there as long as it's plastic so with this plastic bag I can put my finger through it so it cannot go in to the recycling bin now, when you are putting things into this, please consider the people who are cleaning these out and trying to save the environment. Um, paper can go in there. Boxes can go in there. Kleenex boxes, more paper, not plastic, not plastic, not Cheez-It packets, definitely not banana peels 
or apple cores or goldfish wrappers. All of those need to go into the trash because they cannot be recycled. Now we are doing a little plastic drive, which we would love to have your plastic. Around the school, you'll see three big tubs that have this sign on the front of them. You may simply drop anything that's, it's called plastic film, baggies, trash bags that are empty with no food, nothing else in there can go in there. You have water bottle, uh, plastic that's wrapped around water bottles that can go in there, Amazon packages, uh, your ba plastic bags from the grocery store can all go in there. The cool thing about the plastic bags is we are using those to um, donate to a company that turns this into decking and furniture. And our goal is to get enough to get a bench for our school. So help us with recycling the correct way, but also help us with our plastic drive. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Today for lunch we have hamburger, cheeseburger, freshly baked roll, chipotle black bean burger, seasoned potato wedges, burger toppings, assorted fruits and vegetables, and assorted milk. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to Taste, Taste Test Speed, Speed Run Season, Season 3, three episode, episode 7. Today we're trying dark chocolate flavored pork rinds. Okay. Oh, oh my god, a big cheese. I can't bite it. It's hard. It's crunchy. It's like Actually, not as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah. It's, it's like, just got a weird smell, but it's actually not that bad. Tastes like chocolate and, like, crunch. Um, not that bad. Six? 6.5 out of 10. Same. All right. So, I'm just scared. Oh, right? I can't get one out. Wait, well, it's actually not that bad. It's actually really like, It's kind of good. Bad, but... Actually, no, I take that back. It's not good. It's mid. Oh, shit. Seven? Oh, wait, no. That's, yeah, that's not good. Oh. It's not even that bad. Five. They're like, they're bad. They're like good, but they're bad. They taste like bacon with chocolate. I give it like a 6 out of 10. They're okay. A 5 out of 10. That's all we have for you today. But, but don't, don't forget, forget, it's a great day to be a Bronco. Bronco.